Hi dear students, in this session we are going to deal with how to calculate the packing efficiency in the system body centered cubic lattice from your grade 12 solid state. Dear all, what is mean by body centered cubic structure? In the part 1 video we already discussed the simple cubic system, here we are dealing with body centered lattice. What is the arrangement and what is the packing efficiency and what is the void? All of you. Listen very carefully. This is a body centered system. Dear all, what is mean by body centered? The constituent particles, that means the spheres are present all eight corner plus one sphere at the center of the body. This is the system called, which one? Body centered unit cell. So in a body centered unit cell, the constituent particles are present all the eight corner with one sphere inside, exactly at the center of the body. This is the system. Let's see one of the three dimensional structure. Okay, let me make it clear. This is the 3D, all of you, you can able to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That is the corner spheres and the center, the red one is the center sphere and what is the number of spheres in the unit cell which means if you consider this cube inside the cube we are not bothered about the outside portion inside the cube total how many spheres are there that is our question try to understand all of you this is the one unit cell and above below right side left side top bottom everywhere some unit cells are there it's at the 3d dimension right so this portion cut, this portion, this portion, this portion. So if you cut all those outer portion, how much portion will be there inside? That figure you can able to see from this. So dear all, from each corner you are getting 1 by 8 portion because one sphere at the corner is shared by 8 unit cell. So this portion is getting from what is this portion is getting from this sphere it's only one by eighth portion so total how many from each corner you're going to get one by eighth portion right so total how many corners are there eight corner so eight into one by eight is equal to one so from the all corner this all corner pieces if you collect together if you connect together you will get one sphere total and what about the inner sphere they are all it is already inside right it is not shared by any other unit cell so dear all from eight corner you will get eight into one by eight total one sphere plus and inside there is already one sphere is present so one plus one two so what is the total number of spheres in a body centered unit cell that is two keep in mind what we studied in simple cubic system only one in body centered two are there all right now let's go for the calculation what is packing efficiency all of you it is the volume occupied by the spheres in the unit cell divided by total volume of the unit cell into 100 let's see the derivation so packing efficiency is equal to 2 into 4 by 3 pi r cube what is the numerator all of you volume of the volume of the spheres in the unit cell what is the volume of one sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube i already told you in body centered system total two spheres are there so what is the total volume of the spheres in the body centered system 2 into 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by a cube why a cube what is the denominator your denominator is the total volume of the unit cell our unit cell is a cube right what is the volume of a unit cell that is a cube into 100 now let's go for the calculation and their diagrams with some uh, triangles okay see all of you this is the Q unit cell is ready with uh, the corners i'm representing a b c d e f g h let us place the spheres here i'm considering three spheres they are all two spheres you can observe that they are at the corners right these two spheres are present at the corner and what about this sphere that is the sphere which is present at the center of the body dear all let us go for the calculation can you see there is a triangle e f d all right e f d that's a less smallest triangle here in body centered system we are going to consider two important triangles okay this is the smallest triangle what is that e f d According to the triangle, you know, you can able to say that if you consider the triangle EFD, we can say that FD square, FD square is equal to EF square plus ED square. Yes or no? FD square, FD square is equal to EF square plus ED square. Let me make it a simple representation of those length. Okay. What is ED? 
and EFD are all that is the edge length right edge length edge length is expressed by the letter small letter a so this is EF is a and ED also a but FD all of you observe it is not a edge length right it is passing through the face it is passing through the face so EF and FED are known as axial length or edge length whereas FD is known as what face diagonal because it's passing through the face right it's passing through the face so FD is known as what it is the face diagonal so let us substitute all of you instead of FD what we can substitute B square equal to what is EF and ED it is a square plus a square so what we can simplify B square is equal to 2 a square clear all of you how we are getting b square equal to 2a square next i am going to consider one another triangle you can able to see that that is afd can you see all of you afd afd if you consider the triangle afd what you can say af square is equal to fd square plus ad square yes or no we can able to see that we can able to see that yeah a f square is equal to a d square plus f d square now let me place it what is a f square dear all a f length is not small a or small b because this length a f is not axial length not the face diagonal that line that distance that is passing through the body it is passing through the body right dear all is passing through the body the distance a f is passing through the body it is called body diagonal dear all three letters i am using here small a small b and small c what is small a small a represent the edge length it is common it's equal for a perfect cube and b represent face diagonal is because it's passing through the face and c represent body diagonal because it's passing through the body right and a f square is equal to a d square plus f d square dear all a d square that is a square f d square that is b square what is a f square that is c square so that is c square equal to a square plus b square you know already what is b square in the before right so c square is equal to we can write a square plus 2 a square so whatever overall c square is equal to 3 a square now dear all what is c what is c dear all look into the diagram if you consider the length c there are total four radius total there are four radius in the system can you able to see that this is one half one radius this is one complete sphere so there are two radius again one half sphere again another radius so the total length af that is c that is equal to 4r so dear all c square that is c equal to 4r if c equal to 4r please substitute here we will get 4r all square equal to 3a square from which we need the value of a why we are considering this triangle etc to guess to get the value of which one a we want to get the value of a small letter a edge length so 4 r i'm taking square root on both sides so the square will go so 4 r is equal to root 3 a therefore a is equal to 4 r by root 3 so what is the body centered system the relation between edge length and radius a is equal to 4 r by root 3 now we can go for our major equation what is the equation for packing efficiency all of you 2 into 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by a cube into 100 right where packing efficiency is equal to 2 into 4 by 3 pi r cube what is a now we just calculated 4 r by root 3 let me substitute the whole cube into 100 and while simplifying dear all you are getting a constant value 68 percentage keep in mind all of you in a body centered lattice what is the packing efficiency the packing efficiency is around 68 percentage what is the meaning of 68 percentage that means if you consider the overall system 100 percentage 68 percentage of the area is covered by the sphere remaining part is void free space so what is the void all? 100 minus 68 that's equal to 32 percentage is the void so dear all in a body centered unit cell in a body centered unit cell we can able to see that packing efficiency is 68 percentage and void is how much 32 percentage 
clear all of you this is the way how to calculate the packing efficiency in a body centered system thank you all bye